You know what's the best part about my day? It's watering the plants in my garden. Aren't they just beautiful? In fact, I have so many questions when I look at them. Like, where do they get their food and water from? Of course, from the soil beneath them. That's why I'm watering it down there. But how does the water climb up from the soil all the way up to the leaves? That too, against gravity. You know about gravity, right? The force that pulls down anything that tries to go up. So then, how does the water climb up from the soil all the way up? Let's figure it out. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us in things that surround us. So, let's get started. Today's experiment is capillary action. In this experiment, we need four things. Some food color. Two identical glasses. Hey! A paper towel. And finally, some water. Let's go. We begin with the two identical glasses. Let's pour some water into one of the glasses. We will fill only half of this glass. Time to add some food color. Let's add one teaspoon. And now we mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. Oh God, I love Hannah Montana. Now grab the paper towel, fold it and place it on top of the two glasses. Now insert the edges of the towel into the two glasses. And let's wait for one hour. Hey, how is that happening? How can the water climb up from one glass into the other? The only thing connecting the two glasses is the paper towel. The water climbs up using the paper towel from one glass into the other. But wait, how can water climb up against gravity that pulls everything else down. Water is able to move up by sticking itself strongly to the paper towel. This ability of water to move up by sticking itself to another material is called capillary action. But friends, capillary action is only possible for things that have small pores or spaces inside for water to enter, stick and spread through. One such thing that we use every day is a sponge. A sponge has so many pores that even a tiny little droplet of water can easily move up and spread through the whole sponge. Isn't this a cool way of using water without wasting it? From filling ink into a fountain pen to cleaning a wet floor with your mop, everything is because of capillary action. In fact, Capillary action makes life easy by moving liquids up. And plants, they simply can't live without capillary action. Thanks to capillary action, the water in the roots can go all the way up to the stem and finally into the leaves. So friends, now that you know what capillary action is, let's see how many examples can you gather? And do write to us in the comment section below. So. See you next time. Toodles.